And walk me through your interpretation of what we've learned in the last hour. Before going there, Jonathan, I'm wondering if Tom could share those bond docs with me because they're very, very difficult to get a hold of. Certainly Fitch and some of the rating agencies have ratings on some of the local bonds for Russia, and they don't actually have the bond docs. So I'm just saying if Tom has access to that, that's a pretty big deal. Anyway, so going into this, I mean, $500 million of the $2 billion principal, which was due on the 4th by Russia, um, was supposed to be paid in dollars. Clearly, the new um, the new sanctions are preventing Russia from doing that. 650 million thereabouts was supposed to be paid in dollars to foreign creditors, but this new rule is preventing them from doing so. And so, if uh, if, if if rubber meets the road, this looks like the U.S. government is absolutely going to force Russia into a default unless they can find the funds from elsewhere. I look, Damien, at where we are, and there has to be a next. What is the next step in this dance? So for me, the next step for me is looking at the Credit Derivatives Determination Committee and their ruling on Russian railways. You know, they were asked to rule if uh, the credit default swaps, which banks have underwritten on the back of the 30, uh, on back of the bonds, um, are indeed uh, triggered into a failure to pay credit events. And so we should hear about that in the not too distant future. For a frame of reference, Russian railways owes 31 billion in sterling coupons that were due on the 25th. They missed the grace period. If the CDS determination committee, you know, basically considers this an event of default, a lot of money is going to start to change hands, yeah. and that's going to trigger an awful lot of, uh, right. of money movement that you can't come back Lisa, from. Lisa, here's the two sentences that matter. Interest, B item. Payments of interest other than interest due on redemption in respect to each bond will be by U.S. dollar check, C-H-E-Q-U-E. -E. That's what you spell it, folks, okay. when you're fancy like Damien. Drawn on a bank in New York City and mailed to the holder or joint holders of such said bond.